This is a tutorial on independent and dependent events. Independent events are when we have two or more events and they have no effect on the occurrence of each other. An example of an independent event is flipping a coin twice. My first event is when I flip the coin the first time. And if I get heads the first time I flip a coin, that has no effect on whether I get heads or tails the second time I flip the coin. So each event has no effect on the odds or the probability or the occurrence of the second event. Dependent events are just the opposite of independent events. Dependent events are when the occurrence of one event has an effect on the other. An example of this is a raffle drawing where the first, second, and third prizes are awarded from the same pool of participants. If 500 people entered a raffle and third prize was picked first, well everybody has a 1 in 500 chance of winning the third prize. Once the third prize is awarded though, that person's raffle ticket is removed from the drawing. So after the third prize is awarded, there is a 1 in 499% chance that you will win the second prize. Once the second prize is awarded, that person's ticket is removed, so there's 1 in a 498% chance that you'll win the first prize. As we continue to award prizes in the raffle drawing, the odds of winning the next prize increase. So each drawing for each prize is a dependent event because it's affected by the event previous. Now if we have two independent events we can calculate the probability that both of these events will occur by multiplying their individual probabilities. So the probability of A and B happening is equal to the probability of A happening times the probability of B happening. So what's the probability that a coin is flipped and land heads up and then a face card is pulled from a deck of 52? Now the fact that the coin is flipped and lands heads up has no effect on which card is pulled from the deck. So these are indeed independent events. Now the probability of flipping the coin and landing heads up, well there's one of two outcomes for flipping a coin, heads or tails. So landing heads up would be one out of two probability. The probability of pulling a face card from a deck of 52, well there's 12 face cards out of a total of 52 cards in the deck, so that probability is 12 out of 52. What's the probability of them both happening? Well, we just take the one half and we multiply it by 12 over 52. If you do this, you'll get 12 out of 104. And if you put that in decimal form, that's about 0 0.115. So the probability of getting a heads and pulling a face card is 0 0.115 or 11.5%. Let's look at another example. If a 4 is rolled with a single six-sided die, what's the probability of all three events occurring? So first, we're going to flip a coin and it's going to land heads up. And the probability of that happening is 1 out of 2. Then we're going to pull a face card from a deck of 52 and the probability of that happening is 12 out of 52. Next, we're going to roll a single six-sided die. And we want to know what the probability of getting a 4 is. Well, there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 on all the different sides of our six-sided die. So the chance of getting a 4 is 1 out of 6. Now, if we want to know what the probability of all three events occurring, then we just take 1 half and we multiply it by 12 over 52, and then we multiply that by 1 over 6. 1 times 12 is 12, times 1 again is still 12. 2 times 52 is 104. 104 times 6 
is 624. 12 divided by 624, that's approximately 0 0.019. So the probability of all three events from happening, well, that's 0 0.019, or a little bit less than a 2% chance. So now let's talk about dependent events. If A and B are dependent, or B is dependent upon A, and we want the probability of A and B happening, well, that's equal to the probability of A times the probability of B if A happens. That's what this means. This is the conditional probability or the probability that B will occur given A has occurred. So whenever you see this line between the two letters, this just means the probability of B given that A has already occurred. So let's try some examples. What is the probability of two aces being drawn consecutively from a deck of 52 cards? Well, the probability, since these are dependent events of A and B, well, that's equal to the probability of A times the probability of B such that A has already occurred. Now, the probability of A, that's the probability of the first ace being drawn. Well, there are four aces in the deck. So that probability is four out of 52 possible cards. Once that ace is drawn though, there's one less ace in the deck and there's one less card in the deck. So the probability of B such that A has already occurred or the probability of getting the second ace, well there's only three aces left in the deck and there's only 51 cards left in the deck. So the probability of B such that A occurs is 3 over 51. Multiply these together and we get 12 over 2,652. Convert this into decimal form and we get 0 0.005. So the probability of both aces being drawn consecutively that's less than 1%, half a percent, or 0 0.005. So what is the probability of the third card also being an ace? So we want the probability of A and B and C happening. That's going to be equal to the probability of A times the probability of B such that A has happened times the probability of C such that B and A have happened. All right, well the probability of A drawing our first ace, we figured that out, it's four out of 52. And the probability of B such that A happens, we figured that out already, that's three out of 51. Now we need the probability of C such that B and A have happened. Well, if we've already drawn two of the four aces out and we're looking for a third one, that means there's only two aces left in the deck. And we've already taken two cards out previously, so there's only 50 cards left in the deck. So the probability of C such that B and A have already happened, well, that's two out of 50. If we do this multiplication, four times three is 12, times two is 24. 52 times 51 times 50, that's 132,600. Do that division, and that comes out to be 0 0.00018. So our probability of pulling three aces out of a deck of 52 cards consecutively is 0 0.00018. So now lastly, let's compare the probabilities of independent and dependent events. First, let's do an independent event. What is the probability of drawing three cards at random, which are all aces, if each card is replaced between each drawing? 
So if I draw an ace out the first time, I put it back into the deck so it's possible to be pulled out a second time. And then after the second drawing, I put the card back into the deck. So my odds are the same each time. So my probability of A and B and C happening is just equal to the probability of A happening times the probability of B happening times the probability of C happening. Probability of A happening, that's the first time I take a card out of the deck and I want it to be an ace. Well, there are four aces out of a total of 52. Now I put that ace back in there if I draw it. So the second time when I draw my second card, again there are four aces in the deck and there are still 52 cards in the deck. And the same thing when I draw the third card out. There are still four aces and there are still 52 cards in the deck. Now four times four times four, that's 64. 52 times itself three times, or 52 times 52 times 52, that's 140,608. Do this division, and we get 0 0.00045. So our probability is equal to 0 0.00045. So now what is the probability of drawing the three cards at random and they're all aces and the cards are not replaced? Well we just did this but we can do it again. The probability of A and B and C all occurring is equal to the probability of A occurring times the probability of B occurring such that A has already occurred and the probability of C occurring such that B and A have already occurred. Well the probability of A that's 4 out of 52 because there's 4 aces and 52 cards. If we keep that card the probability of getting a second one or a second ace that's 3 out of 51 because there's only 3 aces left and there's only 51 cards left in the deck. Then the third drawing, there's only 2 aces left in the deck and there's only 50 cards left in the deck. So these are the odds for each event. 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. 52 times 51 times 50 is 132,000. 600. Do this division and we get 0 0.00018. So our probability then is 0 0.00018. Notice that the probability of the dependent events is less than the probability of the independent events. So this completes the tutorial on independent and dependent events.